Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. Today I'm out uh, collecting up tomatoes so I can get some more tomato sauce made and put away for, for the winter. Uh, but uh, my main goal today is to get out. I really need to collect up my uh, black beans and uh, my Lena's beans uh, that are growing in some fabric raised beds and uh, get those shelled out and, and put away before uh, they shell out on their own. So I'm just gonna grab these tomatoes quick while I'm out here um, before it gets too hot uh, so I can work on them later, but then we're gonna run over and do the beans. So I'll bring you back uh, when I have the tomatoes done. Well, I'm happy with that tomato harvest. Well, I'll be able to get some sauce made because I have some more tomatoes sitting in the house waiting to be processed as well. So let's go get those beans done uh, so I can get them shelled and, and out of the way before I start this project. Still lots of cherry tomatoes and things, but we'll leave those for another day. Somebody's enjoying this weather. Okay, so this is the raised bed that I had the beans in. It's one of those fabric raised beds I put up last year, I think. Uh, they've held up really well. They were out all winter, filled with soil, used them two years now. They've done well. Um, but uh, I need to get the beans out of here. I had some yellow wax and burgundy beans in these two sections, and I pulled them out. I don't know. We just weren't enjoying the fresh beans this year for some reason. Usually, that's how we use a lot of our, our beans is fresh and I don't uh, freeze a lot. In fact, I still have a little bit left over from last year in the freezer. Um, but we just, they just weren't going over well this year. So I pulled the plants. I had intended to get something else planted in here and I just never did. It's just been one of those years. But I have a lot of um, black turtle beans back in behind there, behind these uh, onions. I don't know how well you can see all that. And they're really dried out. I have a few that I planted a bit later. They're not quite ready yet, I don't think. Um, and then I have some Lena's beans, which I think are like a white navy or something. They're a heritage bean that I'm trying for the first time this year. Uh, supposedly, the story is that they were handed out during the depression in Saskatchewan as like a, a food stuff. Um, and a family saved some and planted them and continued to grow them for years. And uh, I decided to try them. I've only ever saved my own um, black beans before, but I thought I'd see if I could save some of these these white beans uh, to see how I could incorporate them into our diet. So I think I do have a few um, Gold Marie yellow pole beans on here too, and I never really thought about how well those were going to be able to be distinguished once they dried out. So hopefully I can tell the difference when I get in here. It looks like some of the pods have some striping on them. I'm not sure. So it could be an adventure, but I'll definitely get the, uh, the black turtle beans off. And then I guess I'll need a different container probably for the rest. So they know what's what, um, but let's get this harvested. So I guess my snips followed me over here, but I don't really need them to harvest beans. And hopefully the rattling of the, hopefully the rattling of the plants isn't too loud in the microphone for you. Really all I'm doing is just picking, once they're dry like this, it's very easy to just go pulling them off. This here, it's nothing in it. Um, but once, I've, once I've gotten all the, the beans pulled off plants, I'll just pull the plants and they'll just go in the compost if there's nothing left. But let me just show you. So this is the pot here and it's really dry. You can hear how crispy it is, I'm sure, in my mic. And then the beans are super, super dried out. And so I can just put those in a jar. I usually just put a piece of cloth over top the, um, over top the, the jar with just a sealer ring around just to hold the cloth in place. Um, and that's, I just keep them in a dark place and in a cupboard. And that's all I need to do to, to keep my beans. Uh, and then I use them and cook them. I find these uh, cook up faster um, than the ones that you buy in the store until I get, you know, towards the end of winter and then they've dried out a lot more um, 
they take a little bit more soaking and cooking time but otherwise it's just like uh, buying them in the store dried beans for cooking and uh, and soaking and all that and uh, just a really really easy way to get some more beans so, and then you can replant like I replanted some of my stored beans from last year and that's what these are are from I had a little bit of purchase seeds still but most of it was was from my uh, beans that I had picked last year. See, I'm getting here a little bit late. Can you see how that's all curled around? So the beans have dropped out of here somewhere along the way, and I've lost them already because I've kind of dragged my feet on getting this job done. Not that it's particularly hard. I just had other things I was doing. So I'm just going to get to it, and I'll show you what I got in the end. So here's the uh, bucket of oops, black turtle beans that I picked. I had to switch over uh, out of the basket because some of these look like they're just going to just pop the beans right out of them without too much effort and I didn't want to lose beans out of the little holes in that basket. Uh, so I just popped them in here, hold on to them more securely and then as I was going I cleaned up the plants and just put the uh, all the old plant matter in here and that'll just go in my compost. Uh, it'll be good for the compost to get some browns in there. I'm running low right now. So I'm just going to look through these plants here and uh, any of the, the pods that are, are brown uh, and getting dried out, even if they're not completely dry, I'll collect right now and uh, they can just dry on their own. There's quite a few that are still green because like I said, I planted these uh, plants down at this end here a little bit late. Uh, I think they had gotten eaten off or something. I can't remember what happened, uh, but this was like a an extra planting uh, about a month, I think, after the initial one. So they're just starting to turn now. But I'll get the ones that I can because uh, we're getting close to frost, so I want to be able to get anything that I can get out of the garden right now. There. So still lots on these plants that I'll have to come along and collect later, but uh, a few more in the bucket. Uh, so I'll have those. I don't know if you can hear there's some rolling around the bottom. I'm glad I switched buckets. So now I need to look at these pole beans and figure out which are the Lena's and which are the, the Golden Marie. Um, I do think the Lena's have a bit of a stripe to them, but let's see if I can pick like that, I would say is a Golden Marie, probably just from the size of the pod. Let's see if I can... Oh, this one's splitting open. Oops, I don't want those in there. Those are some very white, white beans, which the Lena's are supposed to be. Let's see what's in here because... I don't know, these are pretty white too. I can't remember what the Golden Marie bean seeds look like. Those are really white beans there. Let's see if I can find one of those stripy shells and we'll have a look at those. So let's see. So these are the yellow ones. I mean, these are very white beans that uh, I don't know what they are. And this is, these, the shell on these was just a uh, pure kind of brownie yellow. Um, let's see if these look any different in this stripy. Oops, I'm dropping them on the ground. Flies everywhere today. Well, those look exactly the same. In my opinion. Some might be larger, or some might be smaller, but I don't know if that's because of the beans or because, because of just how they grew. 
I don't know how I'm gonna figure this out. This wasn't very smart of me. Um, but I think I'll just pick what's on this pole here that I can pick and then I'll just go through them and I guess I'll just have a, a combination of beans and they're just still dried beans and I won't save them to replant next year. I'll just use them and eat them and, and see what comes of that. I need to get another bucket, I think, because I don't want to lose these beans out of the holes of that basket. I'm not the only one working on the beans today. I don't know if you see that little ladybug crawling through there. I found several of them. It's good to see because there weren't a lot of ladybugs in the garden last year. But I've been finding them everywhere I work this year. It's wonderful. Okay, so that's what I got out of those. Hope you can see in there. It's a bright sunny day, it's from right midday here. But, so I don't know, I think I might, the ones that look like they have this little bit more striping, I might try and shell into a different bucket than the ones that don't have that same look to them and see if I can tell a difference in the beans when I cook them and eat them. I don't know. It wasn't really a, a wise move to plant these together. I just was running low on canes and Thought this was good space management, but it really wasn't in the end. Oh well, live and learn. So I'm gonna get these all shelled out uh, and the black turtle beans shelled out, get those tomatoes processed and uh, yeah, another good harvest day in the garden here and uh, more food to put away for winter. Well, there we go. I have my beans shelled, all except for a few here. These are the black turtle beans, and I guess I got a few that were a bit green. And of course, I still have a f those few plants that uh, weren't quite ready yet. Uh, but I got a nice little, nice little harvest here. So I've almost uh, a full 500 ml jar of uh, the black turtle beans. I was hoping for a bit more this year, but I don't think. Uh, my watering system was getting that bad as well, so I don't think the plants produced as much as they could have. Um, and then, as I was going through uh, sorting out the, uh, what I think are the Gold Marie pole beans and the uh, Lena's pole beans, the two pods looked like, it looked like um, some were kind of a, a yellowish brown and some were almost like a, a pinkish beige. So I sorted them out that way and uh, they even seem to shell out differently. So I think I, I think I might've actually gotten them pretty much sorted out. I don't know if it will make a difference at all or, or not, but um, I'm still, you know, dabbling with uh, cooking dried beans. As you can see, I don't have a huge harvest here, but I'm still kind of learning about it, but it's something I'd like to, to get cooking more. Um, and then of course I have the tomatoes here. So I'll add these to the tomatoes I already have in the house and I'll be processing them into some tomato sauce that I can can up and uh, have for the winter. So I'm pretty happy with uh, today's harvest and how it worked out. So thanks for following along with me and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.